so perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Genscher Beerley have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. That gets things running. Hoists it forward. Sessignon gets it out to the wing. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. Up to meet it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Sivasport can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. to get it forward quickly. Sessignol. Forward it goes. Shot has a pop! And it's played forward. Aite on a charge down the left. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. A really good feat. Out towards the flank. Cut out in the nick of time. Sivaspor seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? Yeah, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Forward it goes. Knocks it away. Only partially clear. Well, that's where he wants it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Driving on, what can they conjure from here? That's a goal kick. Hoists it forward. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Has he found his man? Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And it's played forward. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Looking to hit the front line. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals.
Gensler barely head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither the team any further forward than they were when they started out. And we are already promptly back on the way. Gensler Billy clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Tries to locate someone up front. Sessegnon. to get it forward quickly. Aruna Kone. And it's played forward. Aite drives it forward. Sessegnon kings it out wide. Aruna Kone looks to get on the end of this. And a second time! A really well taken goal! They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to risk, as cunning as it comes. Sivaspor can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Gensler Bailey take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Sessegnon. A real chance if he can get through. And here's Sessegnon. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Almost there, and the players can feel it. Sivaspor have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. And the referee brings it to a close. Gensha Bailey, hold on. It's a narrow sweep, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them, they up their game in the end. And I thought they got what they deserved.